Hello, this is Ron Clark, bringing you Lesson 8 in the Magic of yod heh vav -Heh adonai In Lesson 7, Setting the Tone of the Temporal Moment, I introduce two new factors that this present lesson builds upon. These are sending the Adonai light out into the as-yet-unwoven fabric of time, and what I called anchoring the light. In Lesson 8, Healing from Afar, we begin as we did in the previous lesson with two main differences. One, we will be sending the Adonai light out into the woven fabric of the present moment of time-space. And two, instead of searching for a possible future moment, we will seek out a known person, the person that you have chosen to be the recipient of your healing efforts. We will anchor the Adonai light upon this person and steadily draw our own mental awareness to that person's location in the present moment of time-space. Once our mental awareness is standing next to the physical body of this person, we will focus our healing efforts upon them. To simplify matters for this lesson, the only healing technique we will employ is to surround this person with the Adonai light, but any other healing technique of your choosing can be substituted during your own solitary practice. When our healing work is completed, we will then return with the Adonai light to our own physical bodies and end in the usual fashion. As I guide you through the practice of this technique, I will be moving along more quickly than in the last lesson, assuming that you have already become familiar with the technique of unifying the layers of awareness. So, without further ado, let's move on to the practice of healing from afar. Before we begin, you must decide upon the person you wish to apply this technique to. For this first practice, it should be someone you know very well. If you haven't already settled upon a person, then put this recording on pause and aside now. Since we'll be going somewhat slowly through the utterance of the canticle, please feel free to take any empty breaths that you might need. Do not hold your breath in or out in any event. Begin by stilling your mind and body, and focusing your awareness within the present moment of time and space. So, let's begin. Ani Your awareness is now focused in Kether. The entire creation is spread out below your center of awareness. Yod your Ketheric awareness is now centered in Chokmah. Hey. Your Kether Hokma awareness is now centered in Bina. Va Your Kether Chokma Bina awareness is now centered in Tiferet. Hey. Your Kether Chokma Bina Tiferet awareness is now centered in Malkuth. Fill your material self with your Kether Chokmah Bina Tifereth awareness by becoming conscious of each of these levels of your awareness simultaneously. Sense your Kether, your Chokmah, Bina, Tiferet, and Malkuth all at once as a single, cohesive, multi-layered consciousness. When this unified state of awareness which combines the eternal and temporal realms occurs within the finite moment of time-space, the rainbow-hued light of Adonai spontaneously erupts. With your united consciousness, you speak the Adonai in celebration and affirmation of this eruption of light. 
Adonai. The rainbow-hued cloud of Adonai light now spins clockwise around your material body, which houses your unified consciousness. As you inhale in preparation to speak the Rabono Shalolam with your unified consciousness, draw this cloud of Adonai light into the center of your material body. As you then speak the Rabono Shalolam, send the light you have brought into your core outward to the edges of the infinite universe as usual, and also send it inward to Tiferet, Bina, Chokmah, and Kether. Rebono shel olam. Follow the light with your unified consciousness all the way out to the metaphorical edges of the universe and all the way in to Kether, brushing upon everything that exists in between. With an inhale, Draw this transfigured Adonai light back to your material body and into the finite moment of time-space wherein is housed your unified consciousness. Again, spread your awareness to all the layers of your multi-layered consciousness simultaneously. And as you speak the Amen, see that the transfigured Adonai light surrounds your material body, spinning clockwise. Amen. With the Adonai light spinning around you, spend a few moments focused upon the person you wish to heal. With your inhale in preparation to speak the next Amen, you must draw the Adonai light back into the core of your material body. At the same time, transfer your strongly formed image of this person and your desire to locate them into the Adonai light. Impress it very strongly upon the light as you draw it into your body. And then, as you speak the Amen itself, you must send this light which carries the impress of your desire outward and into the fabric of the present moment of time-space which surrounds your physical body. Amen. With your unified consciousness, ride the expanding wave of outflowing light as it penetrates the spatial substance of the present moment. You are looking for the one person that you have chosen to focus your healing upon. Just flow outward with the wave of light, keeping your mind focused upon this person, and you will automatically be drawn to them. You will know when you have encountered them by the fact that they stop the expansion of the light outward. For a brief moment, let your unified consciousness rest in their presence. And now with an inhale, draw the light back to your material body, as usual giving it a clockwise spiral motion. Spend a few moments focusing upon the connection that now exists between yourself and this person. You've snared them in your web of Adonai light. With your inhale and preparation to speak the next Amen, you must again draw the Adonai light into your core and reaffirm its impregnation with your desire to heal this person. With the subsequent speaking of the Amen, you again send the light out into the fabric of the present moment of time-space, but this time you are aiming for a known location. Amen. As before, with your unified consciousness, ride the expanding wave of light as it very quickly makes its way to the now familiar location that holds the physical body of the person you seek. For a brief moment, let your unified consciousness rest in their presence. And now with an inhale, draw the light back to your material body as usual, giving it a clockwise spiral motion. 
Spend a few moments focusing upon how much stronger the connection between yourself and this person has become. With your inhale in preparation to speak the final Amen, you must again draw the Adonai light into your core and reaffirm its impregnation with your desire to heal this person. With the subsequent speaking of the Amen, you again send the light out into the fabric of the present moment of time-space. Amen. As before, with your unified consciousness, ride the expanding wave of light as it shoots like an arrow to the time-space location of the person you wish to heal. As you progress outward, gather more light from the universal substance and add this to the wave of Adonai light. When you arrive, stop and stand very still next to the physical body of this person. Now condense part of the rainbow-hued Adonai light until it surrounds the person standing before you. Make it spin in a clockwise direction around them. While the condensed Adonai light swirls around them, say a prayer with your unified consciousness to the effect that this person will draw from the Adonai light whatever they need to achieve healing. After you've uttered your prayer, repeat your intention with your unified consciousness in the form of a command. See that it is so. Now you must turn your attention away from this person and fix it back upon your own physical body. With an inhale, draw the remaining Adonai light back into your physical body and follow along with your unified consciousness. With your unified consciousness, focus yourself within your physical body and once again spread your unified awareness throughout the multiple layers of your consciousness simultaneously. See the cloud of rainbow-hued light that surrounds you. Say a brief prayer of thanks for this blessing and utter a final Amen. Amen. Release your visualizations and return firmly to your mundane awareness. Feel your body. Open your eyes if they were closed and move around a bit. This ends the practice of healing from afar and concludes Lesson 8 in the magic of yod heh Adonai. I pray that you use it well and bring much healing into the world. My best to you.